welcome, welcome to our home. Six months ago, we moved into this 2,000 square foot A-frame cabin that was built in 1975. We have fallen in love with it, and we have done most of our furnishing and stuff, but there's still a lot of things that need to be done, artwork to be placed on the wall, and a few other things we want to add to the home soon. So this is an unfinished version, but it is the version you will see today. As you enter the home, you are greeted with a very open floor plan here on the first floor. You have the living room, pretty basic standard living room. We have the Christmas version going on right now, so there's a tree there. Two couches, very comfy, very simple. And here, one of my favorite parts about the home is this chimney that is made out of complete stone. It goes all the way down to the basement, comes up through here, and goes all the way up to the third floor and through the roof. It's gorgeous. I feel like even when this home is in here, this chimney will be here, this fireplace will be here. The second people who lived here installed this gorgeous handmade wooden shelf. It's made out of cedar. Which she tied. <laughs> <laughs> Baby in the oven. And then we have the dining area. I love that it's open so people can sit here and watch television if we have guests and we're watching something. Got this that is sort of a multi-purpose shelf. It's got a ton of herbal concoctions and herbs and essential oils and plants and books. We have books all over the house. This table is reclaimed wood, so it's got a nice rustic feel to it, all recycled. And then we have the bar, which I do not partake in at this moment. Got a 20-week-old bun in the oven, but we like to entertain and offer people good quality spirits, if you will. <laughs> Pay no mind to this dead palm tree in the corner. I'm gonna get a new one. This, it didn't work out, but I learned why. And then I bring you into one of my favorite places to hang out where we probably spend the most time, which is the kitchen. This is where we cook our wonderful delights. It is also a very simple, old fashioned style of kitchen. We've got the gorgeous oak cabinets. Down the first floor hallway, this is the entrance to the basement. We'll take you down there in a little bit. There's Choji being a weirdo. Oh, he's eating food. <laughs> yeah, I put his bowl down there. First door is the Earth Mama Medicine headquarters. The Earth Mama Medicine Headquarters has a lot, a lot, a lot of work to be done to it. We want to take out this carpet, give it hardwood floors, get some across the wall shelves to sort of hang everything up and have everything stored nicely so where things don't have to be on the floor. But here we have the Earth Mama Goods side of the store where these are like leftover clothes that have to go into the shop or are already in the shop and goods art supplies, boxes of herbs and bags and the printer and just this is how the entire store runs. And whenever we work, we're working in here, putting together packages. Back here, this is gonna be our, <laughs> soon it will be a filming corner where we'll use these lights to hang some of those backdrops and film episodes like podcasts or really any sort of sit down videos will be filmed there. We'll figure that out when the time comes. <laughs> and we've got a cat tree chilling because the cats were always hanging out on the couches and uh, we read that if you give them their own space that's close to the common area, they are less likely to mess with your stuff. And it actually really worked because a lot of times all three of them are up here playing and scratching and they know this is their thing. So this is soon going to be a guest room and then eventually it'll be a baby room. Well, a child room because the baby will be upstairs with us for a while. So we're going to rip this carpet out, put some hardwood, put a little day bed, whatever else needs to go in here. That way people can come stay with us like my grandmother, Matt's dad. My mother, whenever the baby comes and we might need help or people just want to come visit us, we want to have a place where they can go. So, coming soon. And last but not least, we have the downstairs bathroom. 
I love this bathroom because it gets really nice light in it. Both bathrooms do. But it's really rustic with all this wood and stone. And the entire bathtub is stone. Storage closets. And that is the first floor. And coming around to the top floor. Check out this gorgeous stone coming all the way up. I love it. And then you've got this gorgeous oak coming all the way up with it. It's a really nice view. But just stand here and look out to the front yard and down there and see how bad the cats are being. Up here we have a lovely bathroom. This bathroom is my favorite in the whole house because of the wood. I love the wood all over the ceiling. It just makes me feel like I'm in some sort of spa bathhouse. You've got the stone in the shower. So luscious. It's got this beautiful, nice corner to it. Light comes in through the window. Simple, gorgeous bathroom right there. Here is where Matt and I sleep. Certain times of the day, it doesn't have very good light like right now where the sun's over there. Here it is. We've got this amazing king bed that we just got. Seriously, let me tell you about this bed. This bed is from the futon shop. They make completely non-toxic, clean furniture. The bed frame and the bed is from the futon shop. The wood is no formaldehyde, no toxins in it. Same thing with the mattress and the mattress topper, all organic latex, sustainably sourced. And we thought it was important to do that because you want your sleep to be clean. You spend a third of your life in bed. It was important for us to make sure we weren't inhaling toxins while we were sleeping and seeping into our skin, you know what I mean? So yeah, here's the bed with the pregnancy pillow. <laughs> this is where Indy sleeps. She has a huge memory foam mattress. She loves that thing. We've got lots of storage space on both sides of the room. This was all built into the house when we moved in. And of course we had no interest in removing it because we have infinite space and we do not have that much stuff. We've got a big closet here as well. This is a vision board, don't look at it. We don't want you to. I don't want you to mess with the energy yet, this new vision board. But we've got a nice closet here, and a light. My side, Matt's side. This is serving as our temporary altar until we get our actual altar I told you about in the last vlog. So we've got crystals and a singing bowl and candles and tuning fork and stuff like that. And we'll eventually make a really nice altar table downstairs a place where we can pray and meditate, whatever that may be. This is not a real gun. This is a BB gun, okay? It's a BB gun, even though I might have to get a real one one day because if Jeepers Creepers were to come out here in the woods and get us, BB gun's not gonna do anything. This is the baby's corner. The baby got spoiled for Christmas. Grandma and everybody got them books. Then clothes, we have handmade sweaters, tons of clothes, diaper inserts, picture frames, and lots of, lots of stuff. There's tons of clothes up in here. Baby got showered. And that is it, that's the upstairs. And now Matt is gonna show you the basement. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> so I'm gonna show you my basement. It's when I wanna make it sexy. Well, the cats ate up most of it, <laughs> but I used to go all the way down. We don't, we make it sexy <laughs> less times and more. All right, I'll, I'll fix that later. Okay, <laughs> follow me, follow me. As you can see, it's like this old rustic wood. I don't know where he sourced this wood from, but I'm sure he sourced it and reused it some way. He's got his carpenter nails in it. And behind the wood is just like concrete. He's got these faux doors. You think this door goes somewhere, but it doesn't. I wish it did. And he's got a bunch of them. Oh, when I'm saying he, I'm referring to Chuck, the guy 
who lived here before us with his, his wife, Jean, he was a, a woodworker. So that's why you see a lot of the wood accents in the house. He pretty much did it by hand. It's amazing. And as you can see, the chimney comes all the way down. There it is. That's the rock of the house right now. There's nothing knocking that down. You know, tornadoes, hurricanes, earthquakes, whatever. We just hug this wall and nothing's gonna happen to it. More of those faux doors. Got the deep freezer, got the futon, just in case somebody wanna come stay over. Yeah. When you come stay at the Earth, the Earth Mama <laughs> residence. Right now, this is sort of the cat domain. This is the cat's room. You know, nobody's really staying here except the cats. I foresee it being a man cave at some point, but we'll see how that plays out. Floors aren't done. This is, oh, remember this couch? Remember this? This is where <laughs> it lives now. You know, we got access to the outdoors right here, private entrance. When they sold us the house, they sold this as an arcade room or a possible mother-in-law suite. So you see this side of the, the ceiling is finished, but this side isn't. So we still got a little bit of work to do. I don't know how easy it's gonna be because we got this, this ventilation system hanging down pretty low. So some type of way we gotta come up with something better because it's not aesthetically pleasing, I should say. We got the heaters. That's a wood, okay. So this stove is a gas stove. Heater. Gas heater. It's called a mini hearse. The lady don't want me to use it because she think that the house going to blow up once I leave it <laughs> off. No, I just get nervous because it's a little janky. One of the highlights of the house is this fancy smancy little robot. Shout out to them. This is a great invention, man. I like, I don't it's even- self-cleaning litter box. Self-cleaning litter box. I don't even have to do nothing. I'll come down here every other day because I have three cats. But if you have one, it probably be like once a month. And um, every other day I come down, pull that drawer, take the bag out, put it back in. Make sure I got some litter in there. Yeah, man, that thing runs by itself. It's beautiful. As you can see, this is the, the kitchenette kitchen. This is bigger than my kitchen back in the day in New York, this whole thing. Matter of fact, this whole piece. Got a little bit of cabinetry. Got the makeshift lights, you know? <laughs> huh? This shit's just clipped up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gonna work on it. Yeah, as you can see, my baby. This, this is when you know you made it. When you got the washer and the dryer inside. When you ain't gotta go nowhere to do your washer and your dryer? Oh, that's life. People don't even. And it's clean, I keep it clean. This is the old, this is the old mattress that we used to sleep on in Bertha. Her bathroom down here. Shower. Get in there. Step, uh, stepmom or mother-in-law, whatever, get a rub a dub. Yeah, and you know, like this is probably the safest room in the crib because you got the, the cement right here. In the, in the fireplace right there. So if a tornado do happen, we up in here playing it safe, you know? Yep. And, um, it's an yeah. apocalypse room right I there. I actually like this bathroom. It's real peaceful, you know? Can, you can be real pensive on that toilet for some reason. Come Shoot. on, little bit. Come on. Hey. Hey. See, she don't like quick movements. She don't like it when you move too fast. Another one of them fake doors that serves as like a hanger for some more tools. We got the electric stove. We don't use none of this stuff, you know? We only down here to, to, to keep the caps company. So come over here, let me show you this cool wood burning stove. Never had it. Never even really heard of one until I moved here. I've seen it in the old westerns. But apparently, you, you, you just you open go. this up. You already got some wood in there just laying for us. You light the wood up. You know? That's why he the whole basement right there for you. He the whole basement. And my man hooked it up so it go it feeds hot air into the chimney. And you know anybody who know thermo thermodynamics. Thermodynamics <laughs> knows that heat what? Rises, right? So when it, when you got the heat on, you turn this. Well, it ain't one of these, it's one of the switches up there. <laughs> but it fans the heat through the whole house. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you know, you know. Another, we got a mini mantle. Check out the mini, you saw the, the big mantle upstairs. This is the mini mantle. You gotta respect the mini mantle. It's been doing this thing for years. Just holding up stuff, strong. It ain't going nowhere. And that's it. Thank you for visiting the crib. Take your shoes off when you're coming out. This guy is ridiculous. Come on, let's go upstairs. I'm gonna show you outside. Come with me outside. Everybody knows Indy. Indy, say what up. Indy, say what up. Here's the last, the last of our garden. One piece of kale that is still thriving. We about to harvest that too. We gotta harvest these Make pieces. The yummy salad. 
or his mama. Big Bertha, still doing the thing, still kicking. We lived in that baby for almost a year. Mm-hmm. She needs some work, though. She needs some work. And now we live there. <laughs> this is like the centerpiece, but we hope to make the centerpiece for the whole property. It'll be like flowers and maybe a bonsai tree or something. You know, you can get that bonsai. Right tree. now it's a bee garden. There's flowers there that we planted specifically for the bees. Yeah. Since it's winter, they're not really doing much. But in the springtime, they'll be nice and vibrant. So if you come this way, this is where we plan to do our 8 by 12 or 12 by 4 garden area right here because this gets nice sunlight. Uh, over there, if you see, we have a blacksmith stove, which is kind of dilapidated right now. But hopefully one day we would definitely get that open and running. So we, I, I picture like a nice communal area, nice altar or something going on over there around the fire pit. Y'all already know the story about the bathtub. We had some, some corn growing in there. That was a bed that broke and those were two tomato beds, but now this is all gonna be uh, tilled this spring. And... <laughs> That's it? <laughs> All of this is going to be tilled next year and we're going to try growing in the ground and see how our vegetables do. Alright, so we got a crow's line. When the hand crows does happen. Uh, we got the shoot it, the shoot at rack. We didn't use it yet. Shooting target. Shooting target. Keep it coming, keep it coming. That's our well over there. Like somehow the, we pump water from our underground aquifers from there into the house. Pretty cool when you think about it. I thought that would be a well, you know what I'm saying? It looked like it would be a well. Like you just put That's like the that. old well. That's the old timey well the from back in the one. day. They used to roll the buckets down. A little kid died in there. But they didn't know. <laughs> Nobody died in there. <laughs> <laughs> There's the new well pump underneath that fake rock. Look at this. Interesting story about this. <laughs> a lady actually thought this was a real birdhouse. And put and filled it up this it high. Is. This high with bird food. Ain't a bird been in there since. You all Apple. know. There ain't no more bird food. They probably ate it. Uh, I'll, see, I'll, I'll watch it every day. I need to turn it. There's no bird food in there. No bird food in there. <laughs> this is a lift for like a mechanic or something. Yeah, you can use that to lift engines and put engines back into cars huh? and stuff like that. You feel me? Came with the property. Dang it's pretty you heavy know. duty. Wind it up. You know? You never know when you got to hang something up for <laughs> someone. <laughs> but this is a workshop. It's pretty cool. It's uh, it's it has electricity. It's got a heater in there. Um. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but, you know, imagine. Just imagine. Yeah, it's a whole entire carpentry shop in there. Tons of tools, shelves. Yeah, man. Uh, the, the property, all of this is our property. All of that is our property. You know, we pretty much got a, a whole isolated forest thing going on. Here's our compost bin. We got a head start on it this year so that we will be ready by springtime, hopefully. There's worms in there, and there's tons. Ooh. Tons of food scraps, dirt, sticks, leaves, cardboard, lots of yummy things, and be bugs yummy. churning up what will soon be some nutritious compost we can plant our spring vegetables with. Very Yay. exciting. Got the fire pit right here. This is where we burn logs that fall down into the yard. Anytime we have a tree that falls in the yard or anytime we want to burn anything, if we have extra wood and we don't want to send it to a landfill, you can just burn it and have a nice bonfire. This is where we'll burn our Christmas tree. When we burn it, we're going to be butt naked and we're going to dance around in circles, right baby? <laughs> so if you come down here a little further outside, now you're looking at the house from the front. It's a gorgeous view. We have a really huge carport over there. The owners before us had an RV that they had under there, but we could do anything we want with it really. Right now there's a little tiny 
My dad was storing some extra fences over here. We'll probably move those fences somewhere eventually and actually use the carport for something. Now this is an exciting part of the house because we haven't even explored it that much. There is like, as you can see, there's tons of wood, fencing, tools for plowing gardens and plowing fields to hook onto tractors, random signs, and there's a lot of possibility with this barn. I believe at one point it was a horse barn where the previous owners had some horses, but we thought about using it for horse boarding. If people need to keep their horses somewhere, they could keep them here because I love horses. Or we could really do anything we want with it, but uh, soon- Doggy daycare. <laughs> soon we will clear it out and make use of it. If you have any ideas on what we should do with the barn, let us know. It's got three clean stalls. Three set up stalls. So if you were to have horses, you'd close it back in and then close it up on all three sides. Close it up here with doors and each horse could have their own place to chill at night or whenever there's rain or snow. We don't really get snow, so I don't know why I said that. Doggy daycare. What do you think about this? Matt wants to turn it into a doggy daycare where he'd close this all up and then leave it open so that this is where they would have their beds and like chill area and food and water. And then we'd close up the land and let them run and play. Yep. And it would just be like an extra stream of revenue, letting people come drop their dogs off when they have to go to work or wherever that may be. Yeah. I don't know about that idea. I'd rather have livestock like a couple of horses than a bunch of dogs running around. But um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. And then you come through here and this is just a nice open plateau of land. It's nice. This is a nice view of the barn from here. I just realized I was wearing this same romper when we moved in. Six months later, we're here and getting ready to welcome a third human into the home. Come, Andy. Good girl! All right, beautiful people. Thank you so much for checking out our home here in Georgia. If you have any questions, drop them below in the comments and we'll try our best to answer as many as possible. And we'll see you in the next one. Before you go, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. You already know. See ya. Peace.